Epidemic models are a way to represent how infectious disease spreads through a population. In their simplest form, there can be a set of instructions. For example, if you have this many cases this week, these models can tell you how many cases there will be next week. During COVID-19, of course, a lot of epidemic models were used. They became quite complex, so they were written as computer code and the outputs were simulations. So epidemic models are made using our best understanding we have at the time of both the current situation and the science. A range of assumptions will go into these models, for example, how people are currently mixing. Sometimes we'll put things into the models that are things that haven't happened yet, but they're things we want to explore. For example, suppose schools are currently closed and we want to see what would happen if they open. And what comes out of the epidemic modelling is a, a range of simulations giving an idea of, of the things that could happen. Sometimes the models we're using will be very complex to capture as much as possible, but sometimes the models will be quite simple, trying to get a broad brush picture of what's happening to, to zoom out. Models aren't necessarily right or wrong, they're there to be useful. There's a number of reasons why the output of models isn't exactly what happens. And of course, fundamentally, it's because we're simulating things that are in the future and haven't happened yet. There will be some things that change that we weren't expecting. For example, people's behaviour can be slightly different. Epidemic modelling is a bit like weather forecasting. For the short term, it gives a very good reflection of reality. But the further you go into the future, the less certain it is. The modelling and insights from the modelling work were presented to decision makers through SAGE, the Scientific Advisory Group for Emergencies. These models helped us to understand where we were in the pandemic, what would happen in the coming weeks, and they allowed us to explore what would be the effects if particular decisions were made.